We've all seen this movie before. Now has something happened to give it a different ending? Now for sure, for real, trust us, the extension of Montreal's blue metro line is really going ahead. Promise. Stamped it. The project itself now is guaranteed. We have passed a point of no return. Well, that's what our politicians want you to believe. And of course, it has nothing to do with election timing. Right. Now, I have covered more announcements about metro extensions and other public works projects than I care to remember. The Blue Line extension has been talked about and promised for about 40 years. Hell, the government had 110 separate reports on this. Back in 2013, before the last election, the PQ had it all costed out at $2 billion. Now that price tag is doubled and they still haven't quite figured out who will pay for it all. Now, the Laval Metro extension was good for two or three election campaigns before it finally happened over budget. The Cavendish extension has been announced and debated for half a century. I'm happy that there will be five new stations east of St. Michel. They are needed. And so are new ones west of Snowden. Now, stations named NDG, Cavendish, and Loyola were planned, but hell will freeze over before the West End gets a fair shake and... You know why. It was a good week for the Quebec Liberals, with them showing some signs of life versus the CAQ. Now, the CAC still leads with 34%, but they are down three. The Liberals are up three at 29. The PECA is down one at 21. And the Solidaires are steady at 9%. The CAQ may have peaked a little soon, but there are still miles to go before we sleep. What didn't help Legault was his candidate in West Island Nelligan, Karen Cliff, who failed to win a seat on Kirkland Council, is a pretty big Trump supporter and seems to share his obsession with fake news and a fanatical desire to fire CNN anchor Don Lemon. The last thing Legault needs is to be seen as Trump light. Then, new star candidate for Quebec Solidaire had some explaining to do. Former La Presse columnist Vincent Marassal was interviewed by Mike Finnerty of CBC. He was asked about reports of him approaching the federal Liberals to run in Outremont. He even wanted to work in Justin Trudeau's office, but settled instead for the ultra-left separatist Solidaires. And what are your principles, Vincent well, well, I made the approach because I was basically looking for, for new options for me. Because we you also, wanted a job? We, so for sovereignty for you, you know, if you want a job, you're for it. And if you want a job somewhere else, you're against it? No, but Mike, the fact is I didn't go work for them. Good work, Mike. And folks, this is just the beginning. We have months of nonsense ahead of us leading up to October 1st. Now, to our south, it seems clear that the idiot-in-chief is now in more trouble than ever. His own personal lawyer was visited by the FBI and searches were carried out. There has to be a reason that Trump goes through so many lawyers, because the dirt and corruption is knee-deep. Are you having trouble hiring lawyers? I've got great, great lawyers. Will you be bringing on any other representation? Glad you asked. I'm pleased to announce I have a new lawyer who's poised to completely exonerate me or negotiate my secret 3 a.m. airlift to Moscow. He's a pillar of his community, a family man, and has had sex with more than 50 of his clients. Not bad, huh? On a more serious note, Robert Reich, a leading mind and former Clinton cabinet member, says Trump has become more dangerous than ever. Trump, he writes in Newsweek, seems intent on maintaining power whatever it takes. He says beyond the petulance, the vindictiveness, the xenophobia, and the attacks on a free press, Trump is willing to sacrifice American democracy to his own ends. And, well, that is sobering. My feeling is that we are witnessing living history, Watergate 2.0. And let's hope... The ending is the same. Finally, attitude is important, but it doesn't put the best players on the ice, nor pucks in the net. The Habs, with straight faces, say what was missing this season was a good attitude. I think an attitude changed a lot of things. Yes, uh, players, yes, of course, players make things better. But if you have good players, not with the right attitude, I could bring anybody here. And if the attitude is not better, we're going to be in the same spot. And oh yes, we are promised better food at the Bell Center next season. It really can't get much worse. And maybe do something about that 1275 beer at the same time. Maybe that will help with attitude. Now the Greeks say a fish rots from the head down. In Habland, something stinks. And it's not just attitude.
I'm Barry Wilson. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out our weekly poll on Facebook. We want to know what you think.